Hey y'all, welcome back to Spirit of the Outdoors. Today, I'm gonna try to catch me a grown for my supper. Uh, I just woke up and decided I wanted a grown for supper. Uh, so I rode down here to the swamp. Uh, I had the other day, you know, I, I fished and I lost a bunch of hooks. Where did I put them now? Oh yeah, here they are. I went and bought me a large pack of my favorite Gamagatsu four alt hooks. Good grunnel hooks, but I got one already on my rigged up. I rig up a bullet lay. I don't know if y'all, most of you know how I've been rigging up. But anyway, uh, find my, my bait town that I want to fish with. Uh, and we may try a fluke out here directly. I have got some baits that uh, I have not even tried to fish with that Don Lanier gave me. I need to, uh, I've got them in here. I, I kind of misput them is what I did. I, I, when he sent them to me, I laid them down and then I forgot where I laid them. I did find them though. They was in this bag actually. I had stuck them in off. So we've got this uh, voodoo crawl made by culprit. That's what we're gonna start with y'all. I throwed with a junk bait that I had on there, one that was kind of tore up I had fished with previously in the last video. And uh, I got a bite already this morning, so I think we can catch us. We need about two grunnel. I don't need no whole bunch. I don't I don't uh, try to catch no whole bunch, so we get this bug rigged up on here. We're going to go down here and uh, see if we can catch one. And then after we catch one on this setup, I'm gonna pull my fluke out and uh, we're gonna go try it out, see if we can catch one with the fluke and then maybe some of these other baits. We're just gonna play it. See, we may catch it. If they bite good, we may catch a few and just release them. Cause like I said, there's no point in me carrying home more than what we're gonna eat. So let's go see if we can catch one right quick. Y'all, I hadn't fished in this spot right here in a whole bunch. So, but this whole swamp is full of ground. And the mosquitoes, God. Oh. Y'all, if I start like slapping myself, I ain't losing my mind. Mosquitoes is terrible. And I done sprayed on mosquito spray. All right, y'all, I have done made it down here to one of my favorite holes, and it took some doing to get here. I can promise you, nobody has drove up and fished this hole this summer. The water is rolling out there. You can watch right out there, but this hole ain't for the faint of heart. You gotta wait out there about knee deep till you fish it, and y'all, the mosquitoes is eating me up. Good God. I done about knocked myself, slam out, beating on myself. I gotta stop all that. All right. Oh. Uh, we gonna fish a fluke, but just for y'all that, that uh, have requested it, we're gonna go to the, we're gonna pull out one of the old good, good, good ones. I, I'm gonna get a, this is my, this is the fluke that I like. Okay, can you see that? It just, it swims in the water better, y'all. Uh, they ain't real cheap. They ain't bad expensive. But see, it's got that heavy weight like on the tail and it just swims better. So let me get this put on here. Uh, now the one I got on there, well, I could probably catch fish with it, especially if they're biting. But I don't have all day to fish. Oh, I need to. I need to get what I'm gonna do done in a couple hours. I gotta go to town. I have got to ship some t-shirts. 
I know all of you didn't watch my t-shirt video. If you want a t-shirt, you need to get on the t-shirt video. Email me is the best way to get, because we're going to have to have an email address to bill you for it anyway. Oh, uh, so anyway, email me if you want one of these t-shirts. All we have is the gray and the white t-shirts. Nothing else. No hooded shirts, no sweatshirts, no nothing yet. I just want to know if you was interested in that. Uh, I, I don't know that I'm even going to sell them, so. Look at these grunnel out here rolling the water, y'all. Let's go catch one. Right, there ain't no way to fish it but to wait out in here. Look. We finna have some fun. Y'all, they may be crappy in this hole. Oh, did you see him go after it right there? Y'all gone, y'all. <laughs> we gonna get it, hang on. Hang with me. First thing I gotta do is get calmed down. I get excited. You don't need to fish excited. Get excited after you hang him. Uh-oh. Let's see him now. I was hung. I thought so. You got to be careful about setting hook. There's a lot of brush down in the water, y'all. You look around and you see all this junk laying on the banks. Well, it's in the water, too. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. I think that one is fish. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here we go. Mm. On the flute, boy. On the flute. Uh-oh, we got grill, boys. We got grill. Woo! <laughs> Come on, baby. All right, y'all. He ain't no giant. We got him on the bank. Oh, boys. Oh. This is a smaller one. Y'all are probably going to turn this and loose, okay? We know they're biting. We caught him on that KVD flute. I had somebody ask me, can you catch both in with a fluke? We just did it, y'all. I will say that is the first time that I have done that. Oh, mm. Y'all, they don't never stop fighting. He's hooked through the bottom jaw. They got teeth. They'll bite you. We're going to have to get my pliers. I do got my pliers with me, y'all. All right, now, little fella. He's trying to get back in the water. He don't know He don't know he's still hooked. All right, we got it. We're going to see he ain't very big, y'all, upside me. I'm going to turn him loose. I feel pretty sure we're going to get a decent one or two. And if we don't, it's all right. We just caught a grunt. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Get all my stuff here straightened out. I tell you what, that gum grunt and bow fin, y'all. I know somebody's gonna be. That's a bow fin. They grunt down in Mississippi, boys. I know they got all kind of other names. Eh? They ain't no fish. In this world, it makes me happier to catch. I do like to catch crappie. And uh, like I told y'all just a second ago, they probably is crappie in this hole. I do have some crappie baits with me. I am not crappie fishing, though. We may uh, we may see if we can hang some here in a minute just to see if they want to bite. Let's try this fluke again. I'll probably be laying down in this water in a minute, y'all. Just, just laugh if I do. I don't care.
Oh, we may have a decent one, y'all. We may have a decent one. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo, we hooked our boys. <laughs> Come on now, look at him, look at him. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We got a good one, y'all. We got, he's peeling line off. He's peeling line off. Come on, come on, come on. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo. We got a good one. Woo. Come on now, come on, come on. Oh, don't shake it out. Come on, come on, come on. Get up here with me, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah! Woo! We got it, boys! Come on now! Come on, come on! Woo! Yeah! Woo! <laughs> yeah, baby! Woo! <sighs> Let me get the camera. He's going in the cooler with us, y'all. Now, I will tell y'all, they have come off on the way to the cooler and flopped back in the water on me. We got this one, though. We got here. We're going to take him on up here on this bank. Oh, that is a good one. He ain't no giant. I have caught bigger. We're going to do something we ain't done in a while, though. I've had people... Want to know what do they, how much do they weigh? Y'all, we got the scales out. We're going to weigh this. One. I got scolded in my last video uh, by some of my buddies, not really in the comments from you guys, but some of my buddies that know me. How come you didn't weigh them fish? You know, I get excited, didn't think about it. <laughs> All right, I got the hook out. Let me get this hook over here where uh, I don't fool around and step on it with my bare foots. I got them little old tender bare feet, y'all. Anyway, let me lay that over here. I better put them back in my pocket. I'll be needing them in a minute. See if we can get this thing turned on. Get it on this on pounds. We're about six ten. It's saying six eleven. That is six pounds, eleven ounces. Booyah! We're gonna put some water in the cooler, y'all, and get him in the cooler. We'll catch us another. I brought a little tore up rag with me down here. I get this. I get some muddy, y'all. I know this swamp is a nasty. When all up these mud banks. Oh. All right. Now, being that he tore my bait off, we're gonna do something a little different now. I'm just kind of answering some challenges here, so I'm gonna cut this hook off for the time being. Now, let me get this unzipped. My friend Don Lanier sent me a couple of baits. Uh, you see me and Brody fish with some rubber crickets. He sent me these two after he heard me talking about the snagless sallies. These are called walleye killers. The mops, uh, I don't know where he got them, but they're somewhat like a spoon. They built sort of the same as a snagless Sally. He said, "Will eat, will a grunnel bite these? We finna see, Don. So I hope I make you proud with these. Uh, you see how this unfolds? It's got one long hook in the back. Y'all, I've never fished with this bait. Don't know nothing about it. We may hang it on a log and lose it right off the bat. I, I don't know. That is one of the reasons I don't fish with like H and H's and stuff. Y'all, they'll hit H and H good. Uh, cut bait, live bait is by far the best, easiest bait to use. I like to fish grunnel with artificial plastic baits is my thing. Um, I don't fish with the spinner baits and stuff like that down here as much because you lose so many of them. And that is my cinch knot. I have attempted to show that on here before. I'm sure I, 
I usually have my hands in the way or don't tell you everything. I, I'll try to retie it a little bit for you when I put this hook back on. So let's go see if we can catch one with this right here walleye killer. All right, let me get weighted out around. Y'all have to watch walking around these cypress knees. They'll stab you in the bottom of the feet. So I'm weighted out here about knee deep. Not quite, a little over, oh, about halfway up to my knees. All right, so I'm just gonna reel this. I could lose, ooh, I just had a bite, y'all. I just felt him bump it, or either I bumped over a log with it. I'm scared to let it sink down very far, afraid I will lose it, so I'm just, uh, Kind of reel it slow now and see. I've never fished with this, so we learning right here, right along together. Oh, they hitting it, but they not. Mm. Oh, y'all see what I caught that time? <laughs> I jerked that stick right on up out of the water. Oh Lord. I may have lost it then, though. That is the problem with that. Uh-oh. Mm. Oh, it come loose, y'all. <laughs> I got it loose. I thought sure I had lost it. Just straighten the hook out now. Well, try it again. I can't be afraid to lose it because that's probably what's going to happen. I just would like to catch a fish with it first. And I don't know the precise speed that that spinner needs to... Y'all, we caught them other two both on flukes. All right, Don, we got him on there. Oh, yeah, we got him on there. Come on, let's see if it'll hold with him. Come on, come on, come on, baby. Come on, come on, yeah. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> we did it. Yes, sir. Thrash about in all that mother there, son. You kind of need a dip in. Uh-oh, he going to wrap it around him. He going to go back out there yet. All right, that's enough. That's enough. Settle down. Settle down. Settle down. Stop all that. Stop all that. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I'm afraid when I get him like this, I'm going to get that hook in my hand. We got him, oh, look at that, what he hung on, Don Lanier. Booyah! <laughs> Let's see if we can make it up into the, and get him in the cooler. That is two new baits we have done hit on today. I told y'all I was in my honey hole, didn't I? Well worth the effort it made to get down here. I know I'm banging against the camera. Y'all are going to ha 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 bear with me there a minute. I'm trying to get my... He got one of them messes made out of my, my reel here. Oh. Now, y'all, this one ain't as good a fish. Oh. Let me get him over in here. Boy, I am done muddy. It, look at my shirt. If I get close to something nasty, I get it all over me. Mm -hmm. I'm tempted to stick my finger in his mouth to grab that hook. That's a no-no. 
To those of you that may be new to this, they do have big teeth. They do hurt. Ah. Oh. Oh, oh. Easy. That's what we caught him on. And he is, the Holy Ghost has hit him, y'all. He is shouting, Lord, bless him, Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> Let's see what he weighs. He ain't, he ain't near about big as the other one. But now these fish are heavy enough to be a smaller. None of them are going to be like less than a pound, by no means. Four, three, three. Wow. Can you see that? There you go. Four, three, three. Let's get him in the cooler. Ah. Oh. As old Richard Gene, the fishing machine, would say, let's go catch another. <laughs> Y'all, if I like to watch old Richard, I don't. I ain't trying to steal his quotes. Now, don't don't nobody misconstrue that. I just I respect the man. Ain't nobody can fish like him. But you know, I ain't been able to talk him into going and catching grunnel. Now, I don't know if they don't have him up there where he's at. Uh, he's up there close to where brother uh, Mr. Don Lanier lives. So, you may can tell me if y'all have both in up there. I don't think they do really. Oh, uh, but. If old Richard Gene had come with me, I'd take him and let him catch one of these grunnel out there if, if he's willing to get in this mud with me. <laughs> Let's catch us a nothing. Y'all, the secret to catching these fish on plastics like this, and probably really live bait too, is when you feel that bite, you let him run with it. Don't don't just go to try to meet it just jerking the hook. As soon as you feel a bite, you dip it down and let him run a minute because he'll suck that hook that hook in afterwards. I felt something. I don't know what it was, y'all. I think I think I felt a tree. Yeah. Hell, I may have got my bait back, y'all. I did get my bait back. Well, I'm gonna show y'all we got a little L problem over. Hook broke. I think that may be a bass. I ain't sure. I think. Oh, no, no, no. I think we got a grown. He ain't a bigger, no. But I do think I'm going to keep him because I wanted enough to cook. Look at him. He's a little one. Maybe the one we done caught earlier, right? Oh, you know. Look at him. Look at him. Oh, he got away. I could grab him right now. He's right. He got away. That's all right. He was a little small anyway. He didn't excite me. I really thought I had a bass. <laughs> they split. See when they split that in like that where this head of this hook pulls out? That's how you do that. If you're too yuppie to do that, you don't want to come down here with me. Somebody say, oh, that fish had that in his mouth. Yeah, he, he's going to be in my mouth in a minute. We may run him through some hot grease to wrench him off. <laughs> you can't have no fear in you. Lost our bait again, I bet you. Yep. Ah. All right. On that, we're going to quit. We got, oh, we got two grown. 
and I ain't got all day to stay down here. Let's go tie a bait and a hook on this just for good measure, and then we're gonna go to the house. Oh. Stick my reel down in them little holes. I stick them like what happens there. All right. I was digging around in there earlier. Let's see. Well, I done got my tackle bag turned backwards. I don't need nothing from there. I need this side. Now, I use old bullet lead. I got a I got a coffee can full of it, truth be told. So get that out. And these hooks right here is what I'm putting on there. I fish mainly with a three alt or a four alt. If I'm bass fishing, I like a three alt. If I'm down here where I know there's some good grunnel, I like a four alt. I have fished with a five alt. And I got several different kind of hooks in there, y'all. Gamagatsu has proven to me to be some of the better hooks because y'all, these grunnels, they, they fight hard. Some of you know about them. Some of you don't have a clue. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. First thing, the bullet lead. Whoa, that's the wrong bullet lead. How I wind up with that little one? Y'all didn't even say nothing. I don't know how I got that little bitty in out there. I got, I guess this bag's got a couple of different sizes. That is about the size I like. We're going to tie this on there. I doubt I'm going to throw it in. I may not can stand it and throw it another time or two. They about done quit biting, so. All right, I run my bullet lead on there. Obviously, you point it the big end toward the hook. All right, I'm going to try to do a better job of showing y'all how to tie this. I run that through there, and I twist it like this, okay? I'm having to look at the camera so I can see what you can see. Otherwise, my hands. Okay, now let me get a hold to the tag where I can. All right, now this Right here, this loop or this uh, above the eye, and y'all, that line's done started getting fuzzy on me. I go through it, and then I come back through this loop that it just made right here. And it's, I can do it better than I can do it keeping it in camera. So, see, I went through that and then I just cinch it down that's the way that is done and that's the way I tie all my big hooks jigs I tie the loop knot I had showed it before but we picked up two or three more people since then um, and I did throw my jig pole out there a time or two today and it did not want to cooperate. Uh, and I have a few baits in my pocket here. Uh, I'm going to put this lizard on there for right now. And that's what I bass fish mainly with. So I'm just going to hook through, come out the bottom. And y'all, I rig all of my stuff for both in the same way. I go all the way through. I come slam out of his back. And then I tuck the tip of that right in there like that but anyway i'm gonna roll all this stuff up well i say i am boy that line can get some more tangled up i tell you the truth I'm going to untuck that, and I hook that down in there like this. Oh. And I like these sleeve things. Y'all ordered these sleeve things right here on Amazon, and uh, I really like them because they, uh, they keep me from, whoa, whoa, 
Whoa, that's spooning on me. But when I wad all my stuff together, it keeps it from being all tangled up whenever I get to where I want to fish. Especially if you get in that boat and pile them all in a wad or prop them all in a corner in the claw, in the shed. You know, I know y'all don't do that kind of stuff. So anyway, we got a couple of bow fin in here. Trying to get all my stuff picked up, put up. Cause we got a rough ride out of him. So we even got to weigh a few. Maybe I ain't even be in so big a trouble this go round. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. I don't even know where I need to put this. I got a good a good pocket to I think it'll fit right down in the mouth. I think that is where I had it. I got too much junk. But when you grunt fish it, you go through a bunch of junk. So anyway, look, thank y'all for watching Spirit of the Outdoors. Don, I hate I tore up the hook on you bait there but uh i can i can get my pliers when i get home and i'll put a new hook on that no big deal so we hadn't lost nothing i'm gonna leave it back here thank y'all for watching spirit of the outdoors y'all like subscribe if you hadn't already uh we got a bunch of fun stuff coming up i appreciate all of you for watching look if you still wanting t-shirts make sure you email me my email is in the descriptions of the t-shirt video. I'll put it in the description of this video just for goodness sake. Uh, but the email, I'm going to have to have it. So you really need to email me. Tell me what size you want. I only have gray and white right now. Uh, so that, the gray and white t-shirts. But thank y'all for watching Spirit of the Outdoors. We'll see you next time. Remember, the best way to do things is the way you like to do it. We'll see y'all. Y'all have a good one.